The Neanderthals lived in rock shelters, and archaeological evidence indicates that they rarely moved very far from them. However, if they were caught in a storm or took down a large animal near nightfall, they must have had some way to make a shelter. Squirrels are master shelter builders. Their spherical twig drays are lined with progressively softer materials for insulation, warmth, and protection from the rain. Our closest living relatives may not build shelters, but they do weave together nests. It's highly probable that the Neanderthals also preserved this tendency to weave circular structures. Behind me, we have something called a wikiup ring. It was a ring of stones that anchored down a wikiup or teepee or other indigenous shelter. This is a reconstruction of a wikiup that I created. Note the large stone ring around the base that anchors the framework. However, in other parts of the world, such as Aboriginal Australia, very similar shelters were constructed but without anchors. This is a shelter built by the Yagans in Tierra del Fuego. Like the Neanderthals, these people lived in a climate that could experience brutal cold and snow. Today, I'll create a small shelter without lashings or anchors and see how sturdy it is and if it can help in snowy conditions. Once I have a basic woven framework, I cover it with evergreen boughs, the only thatching material available at this location. The branches leaned up against the shelter help press the boughs down and making it less porous. This small opening could be easily plugged with more boughs to help trap body warmth. As I look around inside the shelter, notice how the branches are all interlocked together, woven to form a much sturdier framework. The shelter only took about 40 minutes to build. You can see there's a lot of light still coming through. It's not meant to keep off rain, just snow. As it is covered in snow, its insulating properties will be drastically increased. On the inside, it's nice and snow-free. This kind of shelter would leave few, if any, traces in the archaeological record. Did Neanderthal hunters use shelters like this when they were out? It's certainly a possibility.